But what's a day like in the slice of bread? What is a day in the slice of bread? Of life. Slice of life, that is a slice of bread. Oh, <laughs> I didn't make it. Good question. <clears throat> so, we needed some Ren Pai in our lives. Yeah, absolutely. It's been about. In your side, like someone just stabbed you with a knife. Do I? It yeah. It turns out that apparently someone did just stab you with a knife. It seems that you're a piece of bread. You're completely fine with this. All right. Just then, a thought hit you. Bread is not supposed to be aware that it's bread because it's bread. Mm -hmm. Turn the narrator off the head. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm bread, right? Yeah. Realize that I was taken away from my entire family, my loaf. Except my fate. Oh, I mean, this is clearly the right thing. Yeah, make make your way in the world as bread. Go. Independence for bread must and will be established. And it all starts with you. Starting off your grand escape with a poorly executed backflip, you make it onto level ground. Carefully choosing to hop Go to the left. left in hopes of escaping, you find yourself facing an open door. So it's it, is this is just a choose your own adventure. Looks like it. All right. You feel small compared to the large opening. This is not a dating sim, <laughs> but it was in the dating sim folder. All right. So there it is. <laughs> I also wish Stone Cold Steve Austin was narrating this. Oh, that would be. That would be I good. also kind of wish The Rock was. Oh, that would be good. A GPM. GPM. Uh, it's a guy who speedruns dating more, sims. <laughs> Where will you go first? Hot dog cart. Well, that's just gonna get me eaten. Yeah, it is. You Let's make do it, your though. way to the swankiest hot dog cart in town. Operated by an even equally <laughs> swanky looking person who looks to be bent over and asleep, their chin resting on the palm of their hand, snoozing face inches close to falling on the scalding hot surface of the car. So I could either gender them, not gender them, or just let them burn. I mean, you definitely don't want to assume their gender, so. Yeah. I mean, definitely one of the bottom two options is the only way to go here. Yeah. Uh, anarchy, man. Yeah. Their eyes open slowly, and their peaceful expression turns into one of panic. I mean, their face was just about to get burned by a hot dog. Damn. Dog. Shit. They look at you accusingly for not warning them and crush you under their shoe, throwing a hmm in there for emphasis. You can't help but realize that you sort of deserved it, though. I don't know. Is that really a crime of omission? I mean, they were falling asleep on a hot dog cart. Yeah, what did they expect to happen? I guess being a jerk just doesn't work out sometimes. Oh, don't put all that on me, right? <laughs> yeah. It's a your but just you stop. You make. All right.
<laughs> okay. Do I do anything now? Yeah. Automatically stand up straight. Their eyes wide and a confused expression to match. They quickly realize the situation <laughs> they were in and that you just saved them from a hell of a medical bill. They pick you up and hold you up in the air. Certainly not unlike how that monkey picked up Simba in The Lion King. They I'm telling you Disney. endlessly for saving their <laughs> face, mentioning somewhere in the word vomit that their name is Alex. What? <laughs> so what now? Relationship. I will work with them at the hot dog cart. Leave abruptly after this experience. I don't want to talk to this person anymore. Great friends and attend bowling tournaments every weekend as a team, you know. Other Yeah, we'll do that. Unfortunately, years later, one of these bowling trips ended in you messing up a throw. It's shooting up into the air and landing on you, crushing you to death instantly. Okay. See? But at least you died doing something you love with one of your best friends, <laughs> right? Of course. Sounds reasonable. You. They. So what now? Um, it's February. We have to get into a relationship. Get to know Alex and eventually, <laughs> yep. ask them to go on a date. To which they reply, "Good." Yes. You two hit it off famously, and you, you end do. up working with them at the hot dog cart, ending this small adventure on a good note. Give yourself a pat on the back, my friend. You've earned it. Cool. I got the good. I got a good end. You. You. Uh. Ah. So what now? You give a plentiful amount of your welcomes before taking your leave, making your way towards the forest. So I just kind of left after that. The wide range of trees intrigues you, and you conclude that you could make your home there. Fast forward a few years, and you've built a slice of bread-sized cottage beside a river, where you use your body as bait for fish, and then wrestle them so you can later cook them and eat them. Of course, you never actually do eat them because, well, you know, you're a slice of bread. But it's the thought that counts. Man, life in the wilderness sure is intense, but you wouldn't have it any other way. You see, it turns, you see what's on the right. Actually, I'll do that. If you actually had a face, you'd be sadly whispering Mama, to your loaf and crying yourself a river. Oh. Wow, you actually did it! I look like Jesus. Mm -hmm. You successfully whisper a soft mama into your loaf's imaginary ear and begin to weep. You finish weeping soon after. You are about to start bawling your eyes out when a thought occurs. You could just stop being a big baby and suck it up. Are you going to go through with this idea? Oh, the power to you. Yeah. You end up becoming a respectable citizen in society. Oh, the power to you. Hmm? Oh, what? You end up becoming a respectable citizen in society. Moving in with a suitable human partner, getting a rescue pit bull That's named Rousey. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Company. What happened there? Sure, those stupid skater kids always call you Mario. But are they eating out at fancy restaurants once every week? Possibly, but that means absolutely nothing to you as you went from a piece of bread to a wonderful spouse and a successful plumber. And that's all that matters. <laughs> you feel it turns hitsy, you're complete. But just. And that's depressing that you just throw your life away like that. 
Nonetheless, the person that has taken you away from your loving load picks you up and carries you to the touchstone. But alas, it isn't yet plugged in. You realise this diversion <laughs> might be you enough time. How do you? Feeling some type of way. You're feeling a bit regretful. And takes their time plugging in the toaster is of the worst possible pun in existence that you're toast life slowly fades from the eyes that you don't have because you're bread as you're burned inside this eternal pastry hell sweet That was, you know, more of a dating sim than than I originally thought than, going than, in. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so it fucking counts. It counts. It counts.